Okay guys, what you, uh, what you just saw there was a uh, kind of a look over of a new gun that I get to kind of review and give you a little bit of shooting on today. Uh, it's a it's pretty warm out here today so I'm going to try to not do too bad. I can make longer videos and stuff on YouTube now so it's not, it's not going to be too bad but uh, I kind of want to include two, two different guns today. Um, of course I've got the uh, Taurus uh, 809 that I reviewed the other day. It's a 9mm. Uh, I'm just kind of going to combine two into one today. Uh, of course this is unloaded at the moment to show you. But, you know, going to shoot that one today for you. And then I've also, the one I really want to show you is a, uh, we call it a PTR. 91. It's a uh, kind of a copy of a G3. Uh, this one just happens to be like fairly new. It's made in Connecticut. They uh, they kind of just started making these to where they're uh, all made in the U.S. Every everything is pretty much you know made in shop there in uh, I think it says Farmington, Connecticut on there. It's made by you know PTR Inc. Uh, but it's uh, chambered in 308. Uh, it's kind of cool because it's got the uh, charging handle up here, you know, just then you, of course there's no rounds in here by the way, but you just hit that charging handle down, that loads the gun. Um, it's not piston fired, it's a, something like a rolling bolt. Actually the system is fairly loud and it kicks pretty hard, but it's, a, it's an awesome, awesome gun. Uh, it's got a, everything on here is, you know, good size, the safety good size they do a they do a pretty good job of putting these together it comes a pretty good standard size familiar size it's got a huge opening side up top uh, this thing's very very loud but this uh this is a PTR 91 that's what they call it so just same thing as an HK 91 a uh also a, a G3 uh, but it really really is a awesome gun but I I, I figure I'd show you all that today because it's one of my favorite guns that I can get a hold of. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll do a little bit of shooting and uh, see what we can come up with. Because it's, uh, I didn't put the target too far away just because it's really warm out here today and I just didn't feel like walking 100 yards. But we'll we'll see uh, what we can do and then I'll go ahead and shoot the pistol and get that up on there. Uh, also, the way the mags load are pretty cool. They, uh, they just kind of slide in there, and uh, usually, if you hold the bolt back the way it's supposed to go in, it'll secure it in there. Uh, but the way to load it, just they say not to do this, but it doesn't really hurt it. Slap it, and it's locked and loaded. Obviously, you always get your safety on just in case. Uh, but go ahead and fire it, and I'll show you. This thing is pretty dang loud. And, will kick the crap out of you. Uh, also on here you can't can't really put your hand up around the barrel because the action and everything's right there but otherwise try to got kind of used to shooting it by now but we'll just kind of show show what it does for you. Also, this gun doesn't have a locking back feature on it because the way the bolt actually works, so you have to manually lock it back when you're empty. Uh, but it's a it's a pretty awesome gun. I'll go ahead and put another one in there. I want you to keep an eye kind of on the brass where it goes. I guess steel in this case, where the cases actually go, because it's kind of ridiculous. It chunks it like 20 yards. Uh, but I'll shoot off the other ones here, and we'll see. Uh, just to give you a little bit more of a preview. But, and it doesn't hurt to be rough with this gun, I figured that out. Yep, That's the uh, PTR. Pretty awesome gun. Uh, I would shoot more. 
but uh, ammo is kind of expensive, guys. So hopefully, you know, hopefully I can get, make up some more, a little bit of money, and we'll do some more shooting on it. Uh, I'll go ahead and I'll shoot the Taurus. It's a pretty awesome little gun here. You know, it's got a 17-round mag. I only put, I think I put. Uh, We'll do the five, and then we'll do a kind of a rapid fire on there. Slide release is like any other gun. It's got the single actions already caught back. Like I said, guys, it's a pretty reliable gun. Pretty good for anybody to start on at Taurus, but uh, I know it's not very much shooting, but ah, well, I can always load up a couple more 308s. They're steel case, they're a little bit cheaper. Plus, I like this gun a lot, so, but. But, uh, that's PTR-91. Uh, like I said, it's an amazing gun. It's freaking loud. You know, so I have my ear protection pushed really in there. Um, I know it's not too long of a video, but I'll give you one more look at this. With a gun. Pretty awesome. Got that MP5 HK style slap forward on there. But pretty awesome gun got to borrow this one uh, they're not as expensive as I thought they would be for uh, especially a 308 same auto but uh, they are a lot of fun to shoot so but uh, hopefully I ought to make more videos but uh, I just got a little bit behind a little busy so keep looking out for more guys